And we're back, guys. Welcome to Tennis in a Minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Petra Kvitova gets it done. Whoa, is she pumped up and she's looking like a spring chicken. Look at Petra. The clock just... Guys, did you guys set your clocks back? Petra surely did because she is looking good out there. Great job, Petra. Listen, guys, Petra, you'll never meet... A... There's not another player on tour. Maybe Victoria Azarenka. I don't know. Maybe Alina Svetlana. Petra Kavita, when, when we're talking about paying homage to the great Serena, Venus, Petra is that lady. Maybe Garbinia Muguruza. By the way, Garbinia, fun fact, she's the only player in tennis history to beat Venus and Serena in a slam final. Yeah, that's her two championships. Garbinia is big time. But what's going on with Garbinia Muguruza? She's MIA. But she got to be happy for Petra. She's got a chance to make it back into the top 10 again in her career. Look, Alexandrova had her chances, but she blew it. What did I took? I took uh, Alexandrova over 11.5 games. That was a very, very low price. That was a lock. Now, what does that mean? That means that she could simply win the match or just force a third set. And that's exactly what she did. Now, if you want picks like this, look, you donate to the channel. I'll give you a lock like this where it's, look, it's a safe pick. It's a low number easy pound now guys you clicked on the video because taylor fritz the sunshine kid listen nobody say anything bad about taylor fritz we're talking about a top junior former slam junior number one this guy's got heat seeking missiles straight laser beams we're talking about american tennis right here taylor fritz that's my guy now listen guys he said he was disappointed at the indian wells you get so far and he feel look Going that deep in these master events, you should get more points. I agree with him. But listen, he's taking on Carlos Alcaraz. This is the future of tennis, future Hall of Famer. Listen, he, Carlos Alcaraz, Taylor Fritz, we got to change this game plan. He keeps going to Carlos's left. Carlos is in the one-handed backhand down the line. Fritz has no chance to return that backhand down the line. Fritz is literally 20 feet away from it. He has no chance to return it. Unbelievable. Carlos Alcaraz is going to be a problem for a long time. If they want to find someone to stop Carlos Alcaraz, you're going to have to go in these inner cities and find these kids with this condensed melatonin that's not being put to good use. We're talking about kids in the inner city that can run the 100-yard dash in eight seconds. Yes, they're everywhere. They're just not playing tennis. You're going to have to go to Detroit, Atlanta, New York City. It's one of these urban cities, concrete jungles where the talent is everywhere. Listen, guys, growing up, everyone in my neighborhood could have made it to the NBA. We were all dunking at 11, 12 years old. It's insane in these inner cities. The talent is unbelievable. Listen, Chris Rock said it best. If they want us to take over hockey, they better make a heated hockey rink. But listen, Taylor Fritz, he's got heat seeking bombs. He's going to have to start hitting some aces. You got to keep as much pressure off of that forehand. Once the ball's in play, Carlos Alcarez is too fast. He's the future of tennis, guys. Check out the community. Got a nice Taylor Fritz pick. Now listen, Taylor Fritz. Look, I say it all the time. He's well, he's like maybe 6'5", but he's an average-sized guy. Carlos Alcaraz, an average-sized guy. I'll post some pics of him. But these women on the WTA, guys, they're all fighting to get a strength advantage. So in turn, they're all getting super-duper jacked up. Their legs are bigger than Serena's, for crying out loud. But Carlos Alcaraz, Taylor Fritz, Carlos gets the break to start this match. And Carlos is going to be a problem, ladies and gentlemen. But Taylor Fritz getting a ton of free games in this first set. What the freak? WTF? Wow.